like, um, you know, you worked on this amazing album. How awesome is it to have sort of like this visual record of you going through this process? I just want people to see Tanya the way I see her. It's absolutely, it cannot be argued that she's one of the most fascinating human beings on planet Earth. She is so funny, so soulful, so flawed, interesting, and um, real, you know, in a time of, of, of hyperbole and um, superficial tendencies, you know, with the way that social media has sculpted us. I just think Tanya is such a uh, breath of fresh air, and I know people are going to feel connected to her as soon as they see her on camera. She's, you can't take your eyes off her. She's an amazing woman. And it's got to be great I like being a fan of hers yourself to get to have this experience with her. Oh, I'm crazy. I'm a fan girl. Crazy fan girl. I've been since I was eight years old. And uh, I'm as excited to see the film as everybody else is. Do you have a favorite part? I, my favorite parts are uh, Tanya's grace in vulnerability. The way that she's so unashamed of uh, her past and her future and where she's going. And she's so willing to be flawed, which makes her just ultimately triumphant. And having it premiere here at South By in Texas has got to be pretty exciting, right? I think that's important. And I think that's important to Tanya because of her life. Yeah, it's awesome. And having to get to work with Tanya and this album and this documentary must have been such a great experience, wasn't it? It was an incredible experience. It's one of the highlights in my whole life, actually. Um, seeing someone get their flowers in this way, you know, while they're here with us, while they can still do music, while they can still enjoy it, while they can still influence us and our kids, it means a lot. I think that it's such a bad habit to wait till people are, you know, uh, beyond us to tell them how much we appreciate what they did. And we have a chance right now to do that for Tanya Tucker. Well, she's in her 60s. She's a baby. Is that something you hope for yourself in the future as well? I haven't really thought about myself in that, in that context, you know. I'm, uh, I'm a fan girl. I do heroes. I love heroes. I love my aunts and my Jamie and my Tanya and my Chris Christopherson. I love to drive with my heart. And um, his was a beautiful life. He, he received a lot of his flowers from the young people that he gifted. You know, throughout his time in the world, he was playing with people. Um, he's always in the back of my mind as, as a great inspiration. You know, Plus four and team up with a person. Hi, Tanya. Nice What's something, uh, we're film students from UT, what's something, a bit of advice you give for filmmakers who make documentaries such as this? I think that almost Catholic is the bad person to ask about that because as a, as a singer, songwriter, and a producer, I just sort of stumbled into this documentary. I just had a hunch. And you know, it was the night before the studio. I knew Kathleen because I'd known her for years through the Indigo Girls. She came and documented some of my work with incarcerated women in the Indigo Project. And um, I just thought there was something about her that was very connected to her. She really saw to be a different person, but she just has an amazing uh, vision. Like overall, for her foresight was kind of thoughtful. So I called her and I was like, you know, I don't know if Tanya's ever going to show up for the first day of the I don't know if she's going to show up. I don't know if we're ever going to see her. Um, if this is really going to happen, but if, if it does, I think it might be spectacular. Do you think you could pull it together in another 24 hours and show up? And uh, she said, no, yeah. And she was there before me. And um, she really made this happen. Her love for Tanya's happy was rivals my own. And I think she's really important. Uh, <laughs> 